Good morning, guys. Melvin Robinson, Integrity Air Home Inspection, Million Dollar Inspector. Uh, so today I'm doing a flipped home, somewhat flipped. It's not totally uh, renovated. And this neighborhood is right off of Cascade in Atlanta, Georgia. If you guys have any questions, you can always give us a call. So we're going to look at it. To right here, we have a uh, crack going up the wall. Semi-minor, old age of the home is about uh, 60 years old. So these cracks are going to be able to be repaired. Uh, we just want to point them out for the client to make sure that they're aware of them. Uh, all right. And as we move on, we got the steps in the front at the porch. They're what they were not uh, installed correctly. So usually my rule of thumb is 7-Eleven, uh, seven inches of um, rise and 11 inches of run. And that way you guys uh, have a great uh, walkway. This deck rail is loose and needs to be repaired. Uh, easily can fall over. They have a second rail up top, but anytime that you have a rail, you need uh, rails going up parallel and horizontal to make sure safety is involved. Uh, this line here is coming from, from a sump pump in the basement that needs to be PVC. All right, walking around to the back. Uh, the roof has a tree that hangs over. Uh, this tree is pretty tall. It's old and it's starting to rot. I'm not an arborist, uh, so I normally don't you know, inspect trees, but anytime you have a tree this large that's pointed over the roof, you wanna make sure you mention that to the client and put it in the report. The ground has a negative slope going towards the home, but they put in some uh, stones. That outlet needed to have a cover installed. The light fixture did not work at the front porch. All right, so we're going inside. Um, nothing major at this floor, but uh, the client was kind of concerned about that vent at the front. Uh, walking around, checking it out. We got some uh, semi cracks that's going up the wall that were painted over. I uh, just want to paint those, uh, check them out, make sure that they're not uh, protruding, coming out, and have any damage. The ceiling is plaster, which they actually did a repair over. And there's a laundry room above that that probably had a leak or something. Going into the second bedroom, this ceiling as well had a little bit of damage, not anything major. The major thing in this room is uh, I'm using a, a Klein electrical tester. I like to use uh, high grade tools. That way client knows what I'm looking at. So if I put this in the wall, it actually is showing, no shot, not showing any power at the outlets. Uh, neither outlet has any power. Uh, therefore, an electrician will need to be called in to uh, check that situation out. And I, I removed this floor grill and you can see in the bottom this grill is uh, the boot is actually detached in the crawl space and needs to be repaired that's a pretty old boot it's rusted recommendation to replace it by a licensed HVAC company and those are things that can easily be missed uh, here we got the uh, bathroom hall bathroom countertop is loose pretty standard uh, countertop fixtures need to be secured at the wall with caulking make sure that doesn't have any movement pretty standard bathroom all right going into the second bedroom light fixture works that's good uh, the floor was uh, decent all the outlets worked in there and this is the dining room the stairs as you can see this uh, rail it looks a little high and a lot of times you as a homeowner or a client can actually point something out so what I normally do is just take a tape measure measure it out and usually we like to see that around 36 inches and this one was showing around about 42 uh, so it's a little high on the bottom side the top side was okay uh, that we want to make sure that that gets uh, taken care of a right. little small kitchen area the client is uh, more likely she's gonna uh, renovate this area take the kitchen and, and blow it out a little bit but nevertheless they always say they're gonna do something and I want to make sure I inspect it like they're not gonna renovate it so the first thing is I ran the water prior to me getting in here and I noticed a, a leak. This is a stain that's under the sink and this drain is uh, is leaking. So that needs to be taken care of. Starting to cause a little bit of uh, mold-like material under the sink. All right, so I noticed this uh, refrigerator was brand new. So I always check behind it and make sure that it has a, a outlet to plug in to the refrigerator. So. If it doesn't have an outlet that needs to be installed, that could be a costly repair that you're not expecting. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we're going into the basement. Last time I didn't show the basement. This was a home that um, 
a client started on another home and this is the second home so a lot of work a lot of area in this basement needs a vapor barrier all right we got a, a pvc cpvc pipe mixed with our uh, second pipe that is actually leaking that needs to be repaired right, on this left side we have a sump pump and i always assume that um this area can flood even if it doesn't have any water in it, we want to make sure that we notate that it was dry at the time of the inspection. Uh, we got a little bit of fungus growing on the uh, walls along the, the area up going up into the crawl space. Uh, and that needs to be rectified. And once you put a vapor barrier down, it'll cut a lot of, a lot of stuff out. So back over in this crawl space, we got a small little leak up on this PVC line. A little small drip. That's not something that you want to take care of as a new uh new homeowner so we want to make sure that a plumber uh finds that and take care of it all right right here at this return you can see the a clear water line showing where the water uh was at this crawl space at some point in time so i only can assume that if that water line gets that high again it's going to ruin this water heater uh and it has a small leak at the top of it at the copper line that needs to be taken care of as well and so if you're not a licensed HVAC person, you wouldn't probably notice, but a lot of times when you have a, a vent pipe, uh, this vent pipe, that, that is a condensation pump that needs to be replaced. This vent pipe is completely rusted, but also it is a single wall pipe. And in unconditioned spaces, you wanna make sure that that vent pipe is double wall. So I always take my knife probe around a little bit and that uh, is clearly has a crack in it. Uh, rust is pretty much, um, taking over that pipe and it needs to be totally replaced. My recommendation, if any, would be to put in a 90% furnace and that way that can vent out properly. And a 90% furnace is basically a furnace that has a PVC vent and that vent pipe can be ran out to the side of the crawl space without uh, actually going back through the roof area. This is a little fallout area underneath the porch and needs to be uh, sealed from the outside to make sure no water is coming in. All right. That's pretty much it. You guys have a great day.